Hello, everyone. Um, when I opened up the last couple of um, art subscription boxes, I told you that my husband took me to Walmart and he bought me some art supplies. So this is my art supply haul. Now we did not, we he did not give me a lot of things, and I and I didn't want him to spend a whole mess of money on me because. After all, I've got a lot of art supplies now. I've got lots of brushes, lots of paint, so I didn't need all that. But there were a few things that I thought, ooh, that'll come in handy, ooh, that'll come in handy. <laughs> and mainly, um, I actually had asked him if he would buy me a can of this fixative. Because I've been working a lot in charcoal, and I, you know, like uh, in March, I believe, one of his uh, boxes was pastels. And I wanted to, I wanted to fix it. I did have some fixative, but it was so old that when I sprayed the um, the uh, pictures, they kind of looked kind of odd afterwards. So I'm hoping that um, the new stuff won't make. I mean, I know that it, spraying something with fixative does change the the color, but um, it was. I mean, it was really old. I mean, when you shook it, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. It was more or less the little thing inside was was actually rattling all around. So I probably didn't have... I didn't have a lot in there, especially when I sprayed it. But that was all I had. And I didn't want it to smear anymore. So um, anyway, so I got... That was that was the main reason why we went to Walmart was for the fixative. And then I saw all the, the art supplies and I'm like, oh, I was in heaven. I was literally in heaven. I mean... You don't have, it doesn't take much to please me. Buy me a, a, a paintbrush, I'm happy. Buy me a canvas, I'm happy. Buy me workable fixable, fixative, I'm happy. So actually you don't have to spend too much on me. Buy me a set of paints or even one tube of paint. I'm happy and over the moon. So it, for me, say if you're a relative of mine, you buy me something that's like, um, you know, art related, I'm perfectly, I mean, you, art instruction book, because as, as, as much as I, as, as long as I've been doing art, I still like to read art instruction books because I might, you know, learn something new, something that I didn't know. And I find I'm doing that all the time. Even now, as, as old as I am, I'm not going to tell you my age, but I am up there. Um, I'm not like, I'm, let's put it this way. I'm between 20, <laughs> I'm between 20 and I'm and 80, okay, there. I'm in between there. <laughs> I ain't telling you how old I am. <laughs> you can guess if you want to, but I'm not telling you how old I am. <laughs> but anyway, so that was the main reason why I went to Walmart, is to get the fixative. So, let and the fixative, let me see here. I've got my receipt. Let's see, i got my Walmart receipt. And it was, let me see here, ah yes, spray paint. Um, it was $6.97 for that, for this can. And I did I did have to show my ID, but then I didn't have to show my ID, if you know what I mean. Because I'm old, they, I mean, they can, look at, they can look at me and know I'm, you know, old enough to, to buy this. And I'm not going to be, going, you know, huffing it or whatever. I, although it's, it, it, it does feel like, oh man, this stuff's strong, that kind of thing. But <laughs> I don't get high off of spray paint. <laughs> and besides that, I go outside and I use it out there. Okay, so then um, I spotted these little, little, bitty canvases, and I thought, ooh, 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 I could possibly do something with these itty bitty little canvases, paint something really itty bitty on them. So, and these were, let me see, um, they, ra yeah, okay, these two, I believe, were 97 cents a piece, and these two, I believe, are... We're a dollar, um, a dollar forty-four a piece. These two here, which you know, really, if you think about it, so I don't know. I, I think that's a little bit too much to pay for little canvases like this. I mean, that's just my opinion. But still, you know, what can you do? Unless I want to make my own canvases, what can you do? And then these two, this whole thing right here, and I knew ex when I saw these, I knew exactly what I wanted to use them for. Um, you might recall a few video, you know, a couple of videos ago, Art Snacks came out with a special um, Liquitex um, uh, paint sample thing. Well, not samples, but you know, paint tubes. And I knew exactly what I was going to paint with it because it's only red and yellow. But I have a flower that I, you know, that I have a photograph of a flower that that I, you know, saw in Hawaii. 
and um, I thought that's perfect. It's perfect for that flower because the flower is red and uh, red and yellow. So I thought perfect, and it's it's a long flower, and I thought this is perfect for that. You know, for both for and try to try both of making like mat matching canvases, like maybe having one flower facing left and one or flower facing right. Well, this was left and this one's right. So that's what my idea was when I saw this uh, canvas. So these were. Let me see here. This is one whole thing. So let me see. Uh, this is kind of hard. This artist brush. No, that's not it. Oh, canvas. This was three forty-seven. And then, because I've been doing a lot of watercolors and acrylic, I thought this this um, was it a uh, uh, seventeen well uh, folding palette would be perfect for what I you know to use because I really what I've been using. For my paints is a paper towel, uh, not a paper towel, but a paper plate. And um, I, I know I was when I was at the at the uh, store, I was like, oh, you know, do I really need this? Do I really need this? And I think this one was. Let me see if I can figure out on here which one this is. I'm not sure, but I believe this was ten dollars. This was ten dollars. And because it's really hard to, to tell because it says uh, miscellaneous. Although uh, up here at the top it says artist paint br uh, artist brush was three ninety seven, but I didn't buy a brush, so this could be three ninety seven. It just seems like that that's a little bit cheap for that you know a little bit low for something like this. But anyway, um, but it but I didn't buy an artist brush, so this might have been hanging where it's not supposed to be hanging. You know how that goes. Sometimes you go in Walmart and. Something's hanging where it's not supposed to be hanging. And um, you either get a discount or you have to pay more for it. Or they say, oh, we're so sorry, you know. So let me see if I can figure out how to open this little bad boy. I've never had one of these before. Ah, here we are. Oh, nice. I don't know what this thing is for, though. Anybody know what this little, little diggy thing is for? I've never seen anything like that. So I don't know what it's for. But anyway, that's, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Just what I needed. Just what I needed, exactly what I needed. What is this thing for? Does anybody know? Does anybody out there know? I don't know what this is for. Let me see. Um, let me see if it says anything on this, the packaging. Um, nope, it doesn't say. Let's see. Keeps paint moist for later use. That's all it says is it keeps paint moist for later use. But it doesn't say what this thing is for. So if anybody out there knows what this little door thing is for, please let me know. Because I was like, what the heck? I don't know what the... Now, I don't... And I, what are these two holes for? Paintbrushes? But I don't see how you could put your paintbrushes in there. I mean, because unless you stick it on a shelf and something... <laughs> and I don't see how... Hmm. But anyway, that's why I bought this for. So that I could mix my paints and I have something other than the uh, paper plate because I don't like wasting paper plates what is that for I don't know because it's, I don't understand what that well anyway I don't know what it's for and then last but not least something that I definitely needed because I'm always here at the table and as you know my um, in the smart art box for October I have I've, I've received a canvas actually there was canvas in another uh, art subscription box an earlier one, but I don't remember, I think the last month. Um, so, I picked up a little tabletop easel. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm so, like I said, I am so excited. This was, um, it was in a spot marked 10, uh, 1997, but... It was 1047 when I, when I checked out, so I don't know if it was hanging in the... It did say easel on it. I mean, in the 1996 um, home, it said easel, easel on it, so... And this is how, how tall it is. So, I mean, I'm excited now that I've got, you know, because I remember in art class, that was one thing I loved, was my easel. So, it's adjustable. So, that's a good thing, so I just put it down a little bit further. So now I've got, um, I've got myself, now I don't know, oh, okay, so you unloot, do these little bad boys. So what does this do? 
Oh, it's, it, it adjusts this thing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Tighten it. That's a little bit too tight. Or a little bit too loose. Okay, but anyway, it's where I want it to be. So anyway, that is my art haul from Walmart. So y'all know that it, they do carry little easels like this. So this is perfect. This is perfect because I have... Now, I have an easel. I do have an easel. It is a um, French easel. But it's too big. I don't need it. I mean, if I'm outside or something, yes, it's perfect. But for inside the house, you know, and I'm in here, in, you know, my dining table and stuff, because it's where I usually do most of my artwork, because my art room, it's a little bit too dim. Um, I only have one window, and here I've got, you know, the big window back there. So I've got plenty of light coming in through that window, and I like to use, when possible, natural light. So I don't like to draw at, excuse me, I don't like to draw at nighttime. Um, because it, well, the, the lights are okay, but it's not natural light. And I like, I prefer natural light when I'm creating anything. Whether I'm drawing a sketch or whatever, or painting, I would rather draw in the daylight when I've got sunshine. Um, and sometimes I even like to go outside. And it's perfect because i got a little table outside, so I can always go outside and uh, paint out there if I want to. Especially maybe in the spring and the fall, it's a little bit cooler in Arizona, so it's not so bad going outside. But in the summer, and the and the uh, well, like in the summer and the winter, it's too cold and it's too hot, and I just don't I don't like to be cold. I don't like to be cold, and I don't like to be too, cold. <laughs> and I don't like it sweltering. So, but anyway, so that is what I got from Walmart, and um, this easel is. Let me see if it says how tall it is. It is, ah, uh, here it is. Uh, maximum canvas height is uh, 30 cent or 12 inches. So that is how, how tall this can be. So that's pretty cool. Or 30 centimeters. So there's something else in here. Is there? No, there's nothing in it. It's just the, the uh, flaps moving around. Hmm, the box smells like wood. <laughs> smells like wood. I'm getting I'm getting high off wood. Oh man, that wood smells so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> getting high off the wood, man. I love wood. And you, now you're supposed to wonder now how do I know you know how a person speaks when they're high? <laughs> <clears throat> Let me put it this way. I did inhale. <laughs> I did inhale, but I I am not one for I don't like the smell of marijuana. Let's put it that way. I do not like the smell. It smells horrendous. It it's got that it's that sweet smell. I just don't like it. It's awful. And how the heck did I ever get on? How did I get off get on smoking marijuana? <laughs> oh yes, yeah, sm smelling the box and getting high off of it. <laughs> Getting high off the wood smell. <laughs> oh yeah, man, this smells so good. Here's, here, have some. Here, have some. Have some wood. <laughs> anyway, um, that is that will do it for my art haul. Um, I am excited. I cannot wait to use all this. I have no clue what I'm going to put on these itty bitty canvases, but I'm sure I'm going to think of something. Put a little itty bitty landscape or something. You know. So I'm. I just. I just. Oh gosh. I'm. Like, I. I have been out of out of it painting wise for such a long time I mean it was usually colored pencils colored pencils colored pencils colored pencils so it's gonna it's good to get back thanks to the art boxes it's good to get back into painting and now that I've got my easel some of the projects that were in the create is the creative art box no the palette full pack um, subscription box I can do now because it's got a canvas I can put the canvas on here and I'm at the table I can watch my little my little uh, tablet or my, because I this this is my my tape my laptop. I got to get it fixed because the the keys on it stick, especially the Y. When I go on when I go on on the internet or go online, all I get is Y Y Y Y Y Y Y Y on any of the search boxes. So I have to get it fixed. It's stuck. So I've I've got to get it fixed. But it's like eighty five dollars and. Since my husband bought me this, you know, I'm trying to save up the 85 so that I can, um, I don't work. Let me put it to you that way. I don't work. I'm on disability because of my foot. And I wish I did work and I could save up more money to get, get my fix on art supplies. I'm one of those people that, you know, 
they do I do that I get my fix is art supply I'm, my high I get my high off of art supplies I'm screwing this in the wrong way I'm screwing this the wrong way it's not going in it's going out well shoot and I can just see my cat now my cat is probably going to sit here and rub up against this easel while I'm painting. <laughs> then I make this big streak across the painting like, Andy! <laughs> I know my cat. Anything that he can rub against, he will rub against. Why isn't that? Maybe that's tight enough. Yeah, okay, it's tight enough. It's not going to get any tighter. But anyway, so that is pretty cool. I'm looking so forward, oops, I'm looking so forward to using this. So forward to it. So anyway, um, put a little canvas on there. There we go. <laughs> so that oh, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be so nice when I when I do the the um, the flowers. And then of course this look. Now see, I could have done. Now see, I wish I'd had the this. I wish I'd had this when I did um, this little canvas. I wish I had. I wish I'd had this table, tabletop easel when I had done this because not that it's bad I'm still I'm gonna do over it it's, it's not a bad painting it's not a bad painting but it was with markers and I I know I can do better than this and I want to do better than this so I'm just gonna do you know how like the old masters they they painted over old drawing because you, you they find that out all the time when they're examining the old masters canvases and stuff they see an underpainting under that some other painting so that's what's going to happen with this one. It's going to be the same flower, going to be exactly the same flower, only it's not going to be with markers or acrylic markers. It's actually going to be with acrylic paint because now, you know, I've got plenty, I've got plenty of paint to do it with. So, and um, I've got a whole set actually, but it's from that, uh, the fresco, the, I think the smart art fresco one. Um, I have not done that one either. I keep meaning to, and I just haven't done it yet. But I will, I promise, I will do it, and I will show you all the results when I'm done with it. Oh my, oh my goodness, I really have got to straighten this stuff up. Oh, it's just something I'm doing over here. I'm trying to get, putting it back where it was. And Anyway, okay, I guess that is all for now. Thanks for hanging with me. Um, for all of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Um, glad to have you with me. Uh, well, I guess that's all. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I hope I, I was telling my husband the other day that I would like to get a um, editing program so that I can edit the uh, videos so that you don't have to, you know, like I can do a speed painting or something, you know, that kind of thing. Because that would be nice if I could just sit here, you know, while I'm doing the, you know, filming the camera and speed paint. And then if I have to turn it off, then I can turn it back on, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, because this only got 28 minutes on it. It's as long as I can film. So I have to, you know, I have to be really, I have to watch my time. But, um, and I told my husband, I said, I really need a good video camera. But, but this camera is doing a good, good job. I love this camera. Um, it's got HD quality and that's all I can ask. It's a much, much better than my older one. And I'm, I'm partial to Kodak anyway. because so I had a Kodak camera, you know, Insta camera, you know, instant, you know, Kodak 35 millimeter camera. So I'm partial to Kodak. But, um, and I, but I know there's a lot of like, there's a lot of other good brands out there like Canon. I think my husband has a Canon, the old fashioned 35 millimeter uh, one, and it needs to be fixed. But I mean, who takes 35 millimeter pictures anymore? I mean, I've got a lot of 35 millimeter film, but I can't do anything with it because I don't know where to take it to, to get the film developed. And I'm always afraid that the older the film gets, you know, it's going to deteriorate and I'm not going to be able to see what's on the, the film anyway. And the only reason why I have so much is because I didn't have the money at the time to have the film developed. And but that's one reason why I love digital film because you've got instant, instant film, you know, instant pictures. You don't have to go have them developed. You can, you know, make the pictures yourself. I like that. Or you know, you can get the red eye out yourself. You're your own developer, in other words. Anyway, I will let you all go. Thank you for hanging with me. And um, y'all take care wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And y'all take care of yourselves and behave. <laughs> Don't do anything rash. <laughs> Keep calm and go to Hawaii. <laughs> no. Keep calm and do something that you like. All right. Well, anyway, y'all take care of yourselves. 
God bless. Bye.